Jones' number again. Third and goal. Yes, it is. Got it. Touchdown. is only Randall Cunningham's second rushing touchdown of the season and it is the first first quarter TD for the Eagles in nine weeks and Jim McMahon is the first guy off to urge congratulations Cunningham had two long runs on that drive but I think it's the two short runs that were more meaningful the first down conversion on fourth down and then the touchdown 14 plays. Ruzek with the extra point he is up and good. Philadelphia moves 70 yards for the touchdown. Randall Cunningham gets 58 of them on the ground. Six foot four, Randall Cunningham barely getting in the end zone, but you see the official calls it immediately. Randall Cunningham. 28 yards in the last drive. And now Roger Ruzek will kick it off from the 35. That was really a Randall Cunningham drive, though. He had those two long runs, that one 30-yarder, a 17-yarder, and then two quarterback snakes and the seven points. Make it 58 yards instead of 28 yards on that drive. And we got the old elusive ball trick. Now let's see how long it takes before William Frizzell. Ah, oh, that away. Well, see, the first time around, you only get two tries. Then right. any time after that, as soon as it rolls off. Mm -hmm. This is page 95 of the rule book, Fern. You ought to get your nose in there sometimes. And, and look at this. this you is... had a lonely Saturday night, didn't you? <laughs> in the room reading the rule book. <laughs> ball at the 35. <laughs> Ruzek, Darren Nelson. Nelson breaks the tackle at the 30-yard line, and that gives him an additional seven yards, a 27-yard return by the longtime running back for the Vikings. Now Randall Cunningham had the 30-yarder that really got things started. And uh, then the 17-yarder and the two small ones. And Kotai told us yesterday that uh, he had hoped that Randall would have run more last week against the 49ers. But you know, in talking to Randall yesterday, he said that there are some certain gaps in that defense when it's a third long situation. I'm going to take off when I see those gaps. Of course, he was out all of last year, and you saw the difference there graphically in 1990 and 1992. Now, fits and starts, and Roger Craig is in the lineup for the Minnesota Vikings, and what a story. The reemergence of Roger Craig is. 74 offense, five yards, it's still first time. Brian Habib, it was just 10 days ago that Roger Craig had arthroscopic surgery on his knee. And it really is incredible, Vern. Having had a few of those scope jobs myself, I really cannot believe that Craig is playing today. In fact, he wanted to play last week against the Rams in Anaheim. Denny Green had to keep his equipment back in Minnesota so he wouldn't be tempted to put him in then. First and 15, 7 3 Eagles. There's Craig. What a run. I mean, it's a it's a remarkable story. He had knee surgery 10 days ago. He's always had the reputation of being among the best conditioned athletes in the league. And boy, there's a testimony to it. That will be the final play of the first quarter. The end of the quarter with our score, the Philadelphia Eagles 7. Minnesota Vikings three. Back at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, quarter number two underway. Vern Lundquist and Dan Fouts. The Eagles lead it seven to three on a touchdown plunge of Randall Cunningham. Philadelphia three of their last four at home. Minnesota with a victory today or a Green Bay loss. Can clinch the division. Green Bay is leading 14 nothing in their ball game. Second and short. Jordan leads the way. That'll be enough to move the chain. Mike Pitts, number 74. 
in a defensive tackle and he makes the stop. Green Bay with a two touchdown lead in Milwaukee over Detroit and Pittsburgh leading Seattle. Roger Craig can expect to see the ball 25% of the time today. That's his norm. Talking to Denny Green last night, I said, are you going to treat Roger as if a guy just came off of surgery? He says, why? He's 100% healthy, and we need him to uh, take some of the load off of Terry Allen. Stretch of the chain gives Minnesota a first down and 10. There's Dennis Green. Strong candidate, obviously, for coach of the year. Bill Cowher at Pittsburgh, another candidate. This is the Viking team that has now won one more game already this year than they did all of last season. Mike Tice, tight to the right. As the Vikings keep a strength formation in, here is the reverse. Joe Johnson gets the handoff. And moves it out across the 50 near the 48-yard line. Reggie White with the tackle. Yeah, Denny Green uh, was, he said, I'm the new sheriff in town. And he only said that one time, but uh, you know how people like to pick up on nicknames and everything. And it's really turned out well for him because it got the message across to his team. He said, I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to be a, a change things around here from the traditional way we do things. But I'm still a good guy. I mean, after all, the sheriff is the good guy in the movies. They fake the reverse. Salisbury. Deep right side, John Booty knocks it down, number 42. Booty, a plan B acquisition from the Jets a year ago. And he makes an excellent play. Well, now, Booty ball. can play corner or safety. He gives the Eagles a lot of versatility. But he watch the quick break on this ball. Well-thrown ball to Jordan, but Booty just laid back there, read the pattern, and broke on it and knocked it down. Booty is now at free safety. Wes Hopkins injured knee is on the inactive list today. And of course, Andre Waters on injured reserve. Here's the handoff left side, Roger Craig. He's got some room. Booty hauls him down from behind. But he got a quick opener with blocks on the left side from Gary Zimmerman and Randall McDaniel. Yeah, this is really the power side for the uh, Vikings watch the block here and then also watch little number 20 Darren Nelson come out here and take care of the linebacker Thomas big third down conversion for the Vikings as they move it inside the 35 Terry Allen now replaces Roger Craig who is limping as he leaves first down and 10 Minnesota 7-3 Eagles lead 13-25 to go in the first half Allen comes left, and he's got some room down at the 25. You and I had a chance to talk with Tim Irwin last night, the right tackle of the Vikings, and he was saying that uh, the left side of this offensive line is really where the outstanding talent is. Well, Randall McDaniel and Gary Zimmerman, 64 and 65. Uh, this is the pudding side of the offensive line, according to Irwin. He calls his side of the line the mud side. But one of the plays that will be effective for the uh, Vikings is a, a toss play like that. Allen has the natural instinct to cut it back over the middle where those big guys are. Second down and short. I like the way you cleaned that up. <laughs> up the middle, Terry Allen. And that's a first down, Minnesota, inside the 20. Tim Irwin said, talking about Zimmerman and McDaniel, who are outstanding players, that side is chocolate pudding. We're mud. Well, here's Habib. He's one of those mud guys. Watch his block down here, opening the hole inside here. Nice job on Pitts. It's the lead block by the tight end, Steve Jordan, coming out of the fullback position that gives the, the uh, Vikings another first down. First down and 10 at the 16. Again, the strength formation. Play action on the fake reverse from Salisbury. Fires it short to Allen. He's inside the 10 and down at the five yard line. Scott Kolkowski, number 57, makes the tackle. That's a wonderful job by the quarterback, Salisbury, getting away from traffic and finding Terry Allen in the middle of that screen. They were faking all kinds of things in the backfield, trying to get some movement out of that defense. And it'll be a first and goal at the three. Sean Salisbury, 29 years of age. Third year with Minnesota, replaced Rich Gannon as the starter last week. 
The Eagles have given up only two touchdowns.